Hello and welcome back everyone, and today I'm going to be getting down and dirty on the surface of Earth. Because usually we aren't like on the surface of Earth. This is special. Here we go, ready? Where are we gonna land? Land of the free, home of the brave. Oh, never mind. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, we are actually on America. Okay, so as you can see in the sky, uh, we can see all of these beautiful planets like Jupiter and stuff. Now, actually firing a laser directly at these is very challenging. It's a very, very long distance, and you have to be almost perfectly accurate. However, I feel like Universe Inbox 2 may help us a little bit, and I want to see how much damage we can do with this laser going like this and just praying that we hit something. Like, what are the chances that we will actually, like, hit Jupiter all the way over there? If we hold this down and go like this, like, are we going to hit Jupiter and stuff? Because if so, we could try to destroy the entire solar system in style. The just mirror, is that getting brighter? Did we actually, did that actually hit Jupiter? No way. Oh my god, we hit it! What? <laughs> How? How did that work? <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> oh god. Okay, wait. You can actually see Jupiter in the distance now. It looks like a star. What the heck? Oh, Jupiter is now 25,000 degrees. I think we may have just destroyed Jupiter from the surface of Earth. What on Earth? Wait a moment. Epic gamer moment. <laughs> no, that's a snipe. Oh my god, it's gassing, it's, oh my. It's ejecting all of its mass. It just lost an Earth's worth of mass. Can we find it again? It's, oh my god, it's so bright. Yo, Jupiter, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do quite that much damage. Well, I did, I just didn't think it would actually be possible. Imagine just, like, shooting a laser pointer into the air and then you just see, like, a light. A light where you hit. Oh man. How bad is it going back on Jupiter? Like, how much damage have we done from this far away? <laughs> oh my god! Jupiter! Holy moly! Jupiter is not doing well! Oh my god! Oh, what have we done? Jupiter is just like barfing out its entire, like, existence. It's shrinking. Oh. Oh, that's quite sad. You know, this has really large ramifications for, like, all the planets out further than Jupiter. Because Jupiter's just going to be firing, like, firing squad-style mass at everyone. Hydrogen just flying everywhere. And this hydrogen is at 12,000 degrees. It's just, like, a very dangerous ray gun. Now, thankfully, it's pointing away from Earth. Um... So it's not quite dangerous to the uh, survival of Earth. However, Jupiter is responsible for keeping a lot of asteroids from hitting Earth. So the fact that Jupiter is now dead may actually put Earth in a lot of trouble. Although Jupiter isn't quite dead. It's at 129 times the mass of Earth. Oh my god, I have a way better idea. Way better idea. We should do this with every moon. It'll probably be really laggy, but, you know. Where's Jupiter with moons? Jupiter with moons. Jupiter. <sighs> Let's search Jupiter. Saw Jupiter's new moons. Jupiter. Exploding Jupiter. Jupiter and moons. Great. This is in the solar system, right? No, it's not. No, it's not. So, but since we already hit it, let's see what happens if we hit Jupiter with the laser. Do a little bit more. When its moons are there, like, what's going to happen to the moons? Will any of them pick up any of the mass? Any of the matter that's being thrown out? How long will it take for the moons to run away? Like, the close ones are definitely going to stay a bit longer. Um... Oh, you can actually already see a difference. They're already starting to spiral away from Jupiter. 
And Jupiter's mass, oh, it's actually dropping really quickly, never mind. Wow, look at that, you can, the trajectories are completely off. Some of them are about to actually escape. Like the far out moons are about to just say goodbye. Jupiter, Jupiter, stop dying. You, you need to stop, your children are gonna leave you. Oh, oh, the orbits are crossing paths now. Jupiter's dying way too quickly. So if this happened, these planets, uh, not planets, these moons that are being thrown out are being thrown out at quite considerable speeds. Um, five kilometers per second. So let's see what happens if Metis were to, for example, strike Earth in this situation. Hello, Earth. Earth. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see what would happen if one of Jupiter's moons were to strike Earth at this speed. Okay. Game, you should know that I want it on the same level as the current object I'm focused on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. Slow things down a bit. Wow, that, that is still going quite fast. Like, this little guy is going to do a lot of damage. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really little, considering... How, how far across? 21 kilometers radius. That is pretty insane. Looks like it's gonna hit that, like, water right there. Ooh, ooh! Hits Earth. Earth's temperature actually ro uh, rose a tiny bit on average from that impact, and the damage is definitely visible. Um, South America is not feeling too. That water just got displaced. It's being thrown. Oh God! There's a tsunami going through Brazil. Oh, oh! Yikes! That did a lot of damage. Okay. So that's, that's one of the smaller moons. I wonder if we can find one of the bigger ones. Uh, Callisto. 314 ocean? Is ocean a, a unit of measurement now? Apparently it is. Six times the mass of the moon. And it's a gas... Oh! Oh, jeez! Yeah, that, that'll, that'll do a lot of damage. Having that just flying through the, uh, the universe... <laughs> uh, It'll eventually hit something. I mean, there's nothing to stop these. And I mean, they've got quite a bit of gravitational attraction, so... If it were to fly out at the perfect angle for it to hit Earth, it would... It would certainly be trouble. So this, kids, is why you don't fire lasers... ...at Jupiter from Earth. Look at Earth just slowly get gobbled off. That is, uh... Quite the experience. I like how the music gets really intense when Earth gets killed. The music is like, no, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> kill. <laughs> oh, and now Callisto is gonna do a thing. Oh, is it gonna get rid of all of its hydrogen? It is. Wow, this may actually end up creating a new beautiful planet for aliens to live on. You know, that's that's a win. That's a win in and of itself, like, come on, who wouldn't want that? Look at that, we have a new alien life planet. Fantastic, just enough water for surface oceans. It stole all of Earth's materials. Probably some bacteria would have survived that because things are crazy and things got thrown into the air during the impact and everything's now scattering through the atmosphere. Maybe some tardigrades survived. They're gonna restart life on Callisto now. Which actually isn't looking too bad, other than probably the temperature, which is super high and is about to get super low. Uh, 333 degrees? Uh, not that bad, considering that's the surface temperature if things are floating in the air still. And they have a little bit of time for it to cool down before they hit the surface. A new life by killing 7 billion people. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> Let's see, if we go to the composition, if we if we were to throw a uh, quick... Oh, where is it? Where is... Wait, where... 
Where the heck is atmosphere? Hello, atmosphere? I don't even see an option for atmosphere. What the heck? It's, it's almost exactly the mass of Earth after that impact. It is actually the same mass as Earth. Like, that is so lucky. That is so, so, so lucky that it got almost exactly the same. All I need to do is give it an atmosphere and it'll actually be perfect. Perfect for life. But it doesn't look like I have the option to. Wow. That was, that was actually an example of making a pretty much perfect candidate for life through an impact. Callisto v. Earth after Jupiter got destroyed by a laser. And we have 1.01 Earth in mass. We have enough water for there to be, uh, well, oceans. And there's an iron core, which means that we probably transferred Earth's iron core into the center of this planet and there's probably actually a magnetic field going on. The Earth similarity is at 58%. That's that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Boop. Oh, we can't turn it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That was actually very impressive. Um play Pool with lasers, that's not going to work. I I do not believe that'll do anything. And I uh but we, we can we can look at it. Pool ball two. Laser. Now technically photons should cause it to move a tiny bit, but I already tested this and I do not believe Universe Sandbox 2 simulates that. No solar sails in the near future. But we can try. Let's grab like a laser beam welder. Something with a little bit more power. No. No. Or we're not we're not getting anything out of this. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I don't even think this affects I I don't think these objects actually get affected by the uh lasers. Yeah. Even the super powerful laser, nothing happens. Sad. Okay, guys, well, I think we've learned a lot today. Do not point your laser pointer at Jupiter, because you may just end up destroying humanity and starting a new alien race. Who knows? They, well, if your laser pointer is as powerful as the Death Star, I should probably put that little asterisk there. Um, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Doo-doo.